Two weeks ago, we introduced you to our Player of the Year watch list. The list included 15 deserving candidates, but tonight we trim the list to our top 10. And to help us break down that top 10 list, GG Insider Seth Austin now joins me at the desk. Now, Seth, can you give me the updates on our list? Well, Keith, some stocks have risen, some stocks have fallen, and dark horses have come flying out of the shadows. Let's look at the semifinalists for Gridiron Glory's Player of the Year. We start in West Virginia, where Williamstown's Jake Tracewell remains in the picture. His 14 all-purpose touchdowns and the Jackets 6-1 record has dubbed town on pace for a postseason appearance. From the MVL, it'll be Maysville's Jordan Hayes and Philo quarterback Zach Sheridan. Hayes has amassed 709 yards on the ground with eight touchdowns. And Keith, get this, Sheridan has over 1,000 all-purpose yards with 18 TDs, but as a defensive back, he has three picks of his own, and he's taken two back to the, for the score. Truly impressive. Impressive is indeed the word, but what about the boys from the TVC Hockey? Well, we start out with a pair of tailbacks. Southern's Tyler Barton is leading the tornado charge toward the postseason with 956 yards and 12 scores on the ground. Kane Rauch has been everywhere for the White Falcons. Tonight he ran into Wahama's record book, becoming the school's all-time leading rusher. Now what about the defense that's really trying to make it difficult for him? It's got to be those boys from Gloucester, Keith. The Trimble Tomcats defense. Six shutouts and eight wins. Their latest coming tonight against the Belpre Golden Eagles. Only 19 points allowed all year, Keith. They have been phenomenal. They've been incredible all season. This defense is truly worthy of being on the list. Now, Seth, bring it all home for us. Let's bring it home. From the TVC Ohio, we have two Athens Bulldogs. Quarterback Joe Burrow has over 2,000 yards through the air with 30 all-purpose touchdowns. And his running back, Trey Williams, he has, he has 1,000 yards rushing with a whopping 19 scores. From Megs Keith, what is in the water in Pomeroy? I'm not sure, man. Well, the Marauders, they're 6-2, and two, and their running back, Mike Davis, he's leading them with over 1,000 all-purpose yards and 13 touchdowns. And, of course, we cannot forget about Gallia Academy's Wade Gerald. 1,800 passing yards, 852 rushing yards, 38 all-purpose scores. There's a reason he could be here in a few weeks defending the Player of the Year crown, Keith. Wow, I'm not sure how many times a, a player has won it twice in a row, but he's definitely deserving. So, fans, there is your top 10 list. So, Seth, tell them how they can show their players some love. Get on Twitter. Use that username, password, combo. Make sure you're tweeting at GridironGlory with the hashtag go, the number four glory, and, and let us know. Uh, you know, who do you want to see take home the hardware at the end of the season? It should be a glorious race to the finish, Keith. I can't wait to see who will be crowned Gridiron Glory Player of the Year. Thanks a lot, Seth.